Hola, senors and senoritas. Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today is going to be a real short video. I'm going to show you how to install an amp sim and use JZIRs or any impulse response to get the tones of your favorite bands. Hit it. Welcome back. So this is going to be a real quick video. I'm just going to show you. This is just an installation for Windows. So I don't know anything about Macs. So I had a recent uh, viewer on the channel ask me about um, achieving the Metallica tone and how to install the amps. Um, so this is more for um, people who are just getting into this, who uh, want to get into you know, maybe using a live laptop on stage, check out my other video. I'll link the link in the description, a live laptop, cheap recording laptop setup. Anyway, so I'm going to show how to install an amp sim on Windows. And um, we're going to be using Reaper because that's what I use. And that's the only doll I have on my computer anyway. So I'm going to show you, uh, it's pretty, pretty basic stuff, pretty basic Windows stuff. So we're going to go and we're just going to get a free amp that anybody can get that will work for any impulse response. STL tones. And you can click on the link there. Then you want to go to download. You're going to scroll down and you're going to find ignite emissary bundle and you want to select your operating system which is not mac unless you want mac <laughs> but we're going to do windows because that's all i know is windows and we're going to download it we're going to just left click it and you're going to just put it on your desktop because it'll be the easiest place to do this and right there on top shows you where you're going to put it so just there you go okay and that just takes but a second. We're going to go ahead and cancel that. And we're going to either right click and say uh, show more. Yeah, we're going to right click and say extract all. Or you can just right hold your left click button and drag it over here. And when you let go, it's going to give you those options. I've got 7-zip on here. Sometimes when you're extracting files, Windows likes to be stupid and say the file's too big. If you use 7-zip, you don't have to deal with any of that crap. I've never gotten that message with 7-zip. There must be some kind of feature with extract. Anyway, so let's extract. Extract. And it's just going to extract it right there on the desktop. And you can delete that or keep it for later, whatever you want to do. You're going to open this. And you're going to, we're going to go through the installation. There's the installation file. It's a, it says installer and it comes with your manuals and all that. This is going to come with everything you need. So we're going to left click that and we're going to accept. I accept. Blah, blah, blah. Now this is where, um, this is where what's important. It's best if you have the hard drive space on C, on your main C drive, just go ahead and let it do its default um, section, its default settings. And you're going to say next. Uh -huh. Now, you, right here, you can select 32 gig and 64 gig or just whatever you want. I really, I don't use anything but VST3 if I can help it. AAX is for Mac, so you really don't need that. Or maybe it's just for Pro Tools. Like I said, I don't know nothing about Apple. So anyway, I know that it's not a Windows file. So I just suggest if you have a 64-bit Windows operating system, then just get that one. And if you want the VST2, then go for it. I don't. Anyway, so next. 
and then you want to say install oh it's done now you can kill the folder if you want to which I probably will actually I don't need any of this because I've already installed it we're just doing it through it again once you do it again and it doesn't hurt anything to do it again so now whenever you go to load up your DAW of choice Reaper ha it's going to automatically every time unless you do a, a a quick key button I think it's control you hold control and it won't do it but Reaper automatically every time you boot it up checks the especially on your very first time opening it um, when you open when you boot up your computer but it checks the folders but in case it didn't it it, it already knows where to check and that's why I said Whenever you download any, whenever you download any amp sim, it's automatically going to only install it on specific locations that the audio works, the digital audio workstation, the recording program, the DAW, like Reaper, any, whatever you're using Cubase, that program automatically looks to those specific places. The only thing that you have to steer away from that or steer farther from that is if you want to install it in a specific location, then you have to go here because the recording program is not going to look there. If you, if you decide you want to do it somewhere other than the default place that you installed it to. So if case, let's just say we did, then you would go, you would scroll down here. You'd go to your preferences by clicking. You can click that or you can go, you can either just left click there or you can go to options and go down to preferences or control P. There's the shortcut. That's what that is. So then you're going to scroll down. You're going to go to BST. And this is the, these are all the paths that it looks for. Um, C, um, C, BST plugins. Start, there's one. And there's another one right there. Doop, and then there's another one. I have several. Now, like I said, if you've installed it somewhere other than your C drive, and you know where that's at, hopefully you know where you put it, then you can go to Edit Path, and you can say Add Path, and you can find that folder. Like, um, I've got, see, I can go to this PC, and then there's my uh, recording gear, and then guitar. And then select whatever, you know, uh, organ, whatever. And then you can say rescan, which I'm not going to do because it may take forever if I do that. Anyway, and it'll find it. it should. So let's say you've got it. If you want to check, just double click there to open a new track. You can go here to the plugin section, and there will be a a added section right here that won't stay there forever that will say new. If it doesn't appear there, if you after you've installed, if you don't see a new folder under all plugins that says new, then you need to go back up here and make sure you add the path and you need to rescan. Rescan and then um, rescan VST fast for new modified plugins. That's where you want to do. Sometimes I've had this before. I've had stuff that failed to load in the past and then it won't ever read, it won't ever look for it again. And you're going to have to go here. And if you have any trouble, you can always do this. You, you want to clear, say clear cache and rescan, and it will just pff, clean your cache. I don't even know what cache is. <laughs> Just crap. It'll clean all your crap and start from scratch and rescan all over again and restart again. So anyway, I digress. So what we installed, if 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 it was in the new folder, let's just type it in. It's emissary. There it is. It's gonna be ignite emissary. There's the amp head. Now this 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 is already the amp head. This works. Just like that. This is the preamp of, this is just the head. Okay. So, um, you know, you got your red channel. You, the only thing you want to do, and I'm going to specifically talk about just 
Jay-Z IRs for this video. The only thing you want to do is adjust the gain however you want for the, for any amp that you are going to load the cabinet section for that tone. Like, let's say a Metallica tone. You just want to adjust your gain to taste, whatever you think it should be. But right out of the gate, this is just um, red already, red channel, distorted channel. Don't mess with the EQ at all. Now, you need your cabinet. You need your cabinet. Um, I suggest, because that's what Jason Zadora, the creator of the, of the Impulse, he knows his stuff, and he suggests M Convolution, EZ. But if you don't want to even go through that, it's a Melda plug-in. It's free. It's, a, it's an impulse response loader. That's what I use. Um, but if you don't want to go through that, what you just installed, the uh, Emissary Pack bundle comes with its own IR loader. So NAD, NAD IR is what it's called. Now, what you want to do is you want to put this after your head. So just like a real amp, your guitar is being plugged in. It's, you're plugging in your guitar, and then you're going to plug into your audio interface. And I think it may be important to know, just in case you're new, um, we don't want that. So, because <laughs> it's on monitor. So, you select whatever your guitar is plugged in. In my case, it's channel two. I've got channel two, and that's my cord. I've got it going through my pedal board down here, too, just like you would any other amp. Their guitar, pedal board, out your pedal board, into your DI. It's going into your interface instead of an, a real amp. That's your, your interface is your input to your real amp head, which is that. Now, the second thing, just like a real amp, after it goes here, your sound goes through the speakers. Obviously, you know this. So, and this is your speaker section. So, now we want the Metallica tone. So, we're going to go, It's it, when you open it, it automatically is on the red. Um, it's powered on, this, this left cabinet. You don't really need to. Some people like to go here and say, uh, put it on extreme, uh, I'm sorry, not extreme quality. They like to do dual mono. That's that's something that I'd like to I, I wouldn't mind understanding myself because a, a guitar a guitar tone is mono. But if you're playing one signal, it's just mono. So anyway, anyway, so you're gonna go here. And you're going to find your your impulse response that you just got that's Metallica. Or whatever band so um, mine is going is here seems like I saved the folder I guess I that was my old computer I just built a new computer so anyway okay in Jay-Z IR is where I keep that and we're gonna go to Metallica Metallica I've got it and we're going to say the king nothing King Nothing is a, uh, no, no we're not. Let's do, uh, let's do Seek and Destroy. There's a blend, crap. I wish there was just a normal tone. Okay, what you want to do here in this case is you want to take your left, because you can see right here that we're loading up for the left. Um, this lets you... What NAD I on what this allows you to do is it allows you to blend two two speakers basically two speakers two tones so that's what we're gonna do for this um, you can do the blend that's right there you could do the blend tone but it's best you get a better best results if you actually put a left on the left speaker and then load the right on the right. So that's what we'll do. Um, go back to Metallica, and we will do the King Nothing. So left tone. It, when you download these, you'll, you'll get the zip file and you'll unzip, and it's gonna come like, um, 
Like we got the the King Nothing Metallica. When you get it, it's gonna look like that, it, but zipped up, and you'll have to export it. Uh, I mean, extract it. You'll have to unzip it. So, what you do is you go here and you you um, go to the left tone first, and then you find inside that you'll have you'll find the amp sim that you're using. These are designed to work for for a specific amp sim. Um. And the cool thing about Jay-Z IR is that um, he's made them for almost every amp sim out there. But you have to get the specific one that's made for that specific amp. So we're using Emissary. So we need to scroll until we find Emissary or Ignite, which there it is. And it's spelled funny um, for copyright. Anyway. And it's spelled funny, and it's in Ignite, and you'll go there, and then you'll see Emissary right there. It's it's funny, too. Ignite Emissary. There's that. And you just double-click it, and it automatically puts it right there. Now, you could do that, and then pan it left, and then when you go, you could track. If you were going to track, you could track it, and then pan it left, and that's all you need. And then do your second track and pan it right. Or if you want to blend them, leave it like that. And your this is, you put stereo. And then you turn that on. And then you're going to add the right tone. You're going to go to the right. And you're going to find your amp again. I've got to not lose my mind here. Okay, Ignite emissary and there it is it's in the right now they were blend they are perfectly blended in stereo stereo if you're going in with one guitar it's still not stereo but anyway they're on here stereo and then when you play then when you play um it's going to sound like the, the exact guitar tone as the song seek and destroy pretty simple i'm not going to play because i don't really know how to play it anyway I don't know how to play that song, but you're going to play and you're going to record and it's going to sound just like that. So let me just show you what I was just talking about. Instead of doing this, having two, let's just keep it mono. I just turned that off and we're going to open up a second track. And so we got the, the first one left. We just tracked. We just, I, I suggest uh, tracking in mono and then just moving it. Then um, you want to just, you can grab this right here and move it over here. Oop, you don't have to do go through all that crap. You can just drag it over. That's great. Now you want to kill that. And you want to just have the right one powered on right there. And it's mono. So you'll record and do your thing. Do record and do your thing. And then when you're done, you pan it to the right. And then you've got a real stereo track, two different takes. One one tone to the left, one tone to the right, just like the tone on the song, because it's it's stereo. They they didn't just record one guitar track straight down the middle either. Nobody really does that. So <laughs> they got one guitar take on the left, one guitar take on the right. And it may have been James on the left played, and then Kirk went through and played, and then they panned them each left and right. Or it could I think James Hetfield mostly does all the rhythms. I don't know how long he's been doing that, but I know he's done he's done that on many albums. But he still did two different takes, one on the left, one on the right. And so Jason, whenever he makes these tones, he actually takes the stereo track of the guitar and he, he solos one side, takes that, solos the right side, takes that, and then you're able to do that. So anyway, that's it. I'm not going to play, but that's that was went a little bit longer than I wanted to. But anyway, that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. It's a pretty standard Windows kind of thing. Um, Windows and Reaper all, well, Windows and re the recording programs anyway, they make it all really easy to do. Make make it pretty much idiot proof. It's just kind of a go through once you know how to do it. It pretty much is like that with every amp sim, every plug-in actually, and almost every DAW pretty much. I, I would say I haven't used every DAW obviously. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you. And uh, I really hope that if you're getting into this, that you have tons of fun. 
as much as I do. It's so fun, and uh, I'm such a. I, I realize after doing this, this time getting in, into recording again for here for about a, a little over a year that I am a big nerd. <laughs> I guess I didn't really realize it before. You think of nerds, and you think of guys with glasses and pocket protectors, but no, oh, there's more one kind of nerd out there. Anyway, rock on, fellers and girls, and uh, get some free stuff. Please join my mailing list. Get some free uh, impulse responses that I made personally in the in the description. I made impulse responses from these speakers. They're vintage thirties. You could actually throw them in this amp sim, and that will work. You'll. Um, I think that I made one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made one for this amp sim. Tone match, just like the Metallica stuff. I tone match my amp from this microphone to work in this amp sim, so it'll sound exactly like it did whenever I recorded it. Anyway, peace.